Hi, and welcome to the iTech World Easy Base Deluxe Kit instructional video. Here, you'll be able to find out how to set up your satellite dish and be watching Perfect Picture TV anytime, anywhere in Australia. In your kit, you will find the Easy Store Bag, the 85cm satellite dish, a D1 satellite finder, an army style compass, 20 meters of coaxial cable, two pegs, one meter of fly lead, and the iTech World reference chart. Let's assemble the dish. Start with the dish on the floor. Prop up the elevation arm and secure to the top of the dish. Now unfold the L and B arm and look at that, you're ready to roll. Great, now let's connect the satellite to the TV. Firstly, connect your L and B, which sits on the arm of your satellite dish, to the D1 satellite finder. You can do this using the one meter fly lead provided. Now, connect your D1 satellite finder to the vast set-top box using the 20 meters of coaxial cable provided. You're now able to connect your vast set-top box to your TV using your red, white and yellow RCA cables provided with the vast set-top box. For those of you wanting greater quality in picture HD, feel free to purchase a HDMI cable. You can get them from the iTech World website for only $20. Now, we're ready to find the Optus C1 satellite, which is the satellite where all TV comes from. The Optus C1 satellite is located between north and northeast if you're in Australia. With our compass, let's locate the region. We want to point the satellite in this general direction. Now that you've found the north to northeast region where the Optus C1 satellite system is located, we are going to use the panning technique to find and pinpoint the exact location of the satellite. We're going to now turn our D1 satellite finder so the gauge reads 5 and emits a buzzer. Now. Put the dish at zero degrees elevation and point it at north. Pan the dish from north to northeast until you hear a spike on the satellite finder. If there is no spike, increase the elevation by four degrees and begin your pan from north to northeast once again. Continue the panning method increasing the degrees of elevation until you read a spike and the buzzer on your D1 satellite finder hits 10. When the buzzer spikes to 10, you have located the general area of the Optus C1 satellite. Congratulations! We're now able to fine tune the strength of the signal using skew. Decrease the power on the D1 satellite finder so the gauge reads 8. Now, change the skew of the LNB to fine tune the signal. We can do this by rotating the LNB in its position clockwise until the signal on the D1 satellite finder increases back to 10. Alternatively, you can purchase the D3 satellite finder which pinpoints the Optus C1 satellite for you. Congratulations, you now have signal. Now, before we continue, please ensure that your vast set-top box is on channel 800. Your TV should be prompted on the information screen. Now, all we need to do is activate your vast. Go online to www myvast.com.au and click register for vast services to register your 
Vast box. Upon activation, your TV picture will display and you are now free to view Perfect Picture TV at your own pleasure.